Well, Australia is one of the countries that has suspended funding to UNRWA. Let's get more on this now with Marine Farouki. She's a senator and deputy leader of the Australian Greens. She joins us live from Sydney. Uh, Marine, good to have you with us. So uh, we saw there the UN chief, Antonio Guterres, saying that UNRWA is the backbone of the humanitarian response in Gaza. He's appealed to member states to continue their funding. What's likely to happen then if this funding doesn't resume? Um, thank you for having me, Darren. Like, we know that UNRWA is the primary aid agency in Gaza, um, and it is the survival of millions of Palestinians depends on the life-saving aid um, that they provide. Um, and countries, Western countries like Australia, who have suspended this aid, have made a pretty disgraceful and morally indefensible uh, decision. We know that people are being starved in Gaza at the moment. We know that there is a humanitarian crisis. We know that there is a mission of genocide that Israel is committing. And at this time, to suspend the aid is disgraceful and despicable, and it is totally irresponsible. So, so let's just talk about Australia then, because Australia is one of the donor countries, as you say, that has suspended funding to UNRWA. But we've seen big protests in Australia against Israel's war on Gaza. How is the war and this UNRWA issue playing out politically there? People in Australia have come out on the streets for weeks and weeks since um, this genocide started. And so, by actually refusing to listen to the people of Australia, the Australian government is making decisions completely that are opposed um, to the sentiments and feelings and the demands of the Australian people. People in Australia can actually see what is going on in Gaza. They can see that more than 26 thousand people have been massacred. They can see that more than 12,000 of those are children. Um, this is completely unacceptable, this mission of genocide, and especially the cheerleading uh, by Australia, by the UK, by the US, of this invasion of Gaza is reprehensible. The people have been demanding since day one a ceasefire to happen, and what we are demanding is for aid to UNRWA to be restored immediately and aid to UNRWA to be increased as well. How much, Marine, how much pressure then is the Labour government under to reverse its funding decision? I mean, as you say, Palestinians are being killed, starved, displaced. The ICJ has ruled that Israel must prevent any kind of genocidal acts, but yet there seems to be no condemnation of Israel's actions in Gaza coming from Australia. The Australian Labour government has blatantly shown their hypocrisy uh, from the time that this particular invasion of Gaza started. You know, they, they, are, they were very quick to suspend this funding. Um, it took, took them no time at all to suspend this funding, but they have not uttered a single word since the ICJ findings that actually it is quite plausible um, that Israel is on a mission of genocide. And they have actually ruled that Israel should enable humanitarian assistance to Gaza. And what Australia has done is the exact opposite, suspended uh, funding uh, and funding assistance to UNRWA. So their decisions are completely hypocritical. They say on the okay. one hand that they support international law, but their, rhetor their rhetoric is completely different to what they are actually doing on the ground. And let's not kid about this. You know, we know it is no secret that Israel has for a very long time been trying to undermine and defund uh, UNRWA, which is a lifeline okay. for so many Palestinians. Marine, let me, let me just... Have been OK, let me just jump in there because we're pushed for time. I mean, Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu has said that UNRWA's mission has to end in Gaza. How worried are you quickly that this case could actually undermine UNRWA's operations in Gaza? I mean, as you say, so many people are dependent on the agency for their very survival. Well, the Western governments and the Australian government need to wake up to the fa fact of what is actually going on on the ground in Gaza. There are millions of people who are being starved. This is collective punishment. Suspending aid funding now to UNRWA, it amounts to collective punishment of people who are already um, under genocide. And this is unacceptable. The communities around the world, it's not just Australian okay. communities, communities have been marching, and we will keep putting pressure on the Australian government. Parliament starts to, next week in Australia. The foreign minister has actually not provided any okay. transparency, Darren, what information she had to make these decisions. And we will be questioning uh, about uh, 
her about that, that when Parliament starts next week and okay. the pressure from the community. OK, Maureen Farouk, I'm really sorry. We have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you for having me.